Whether you're transitioning to the 3D Experience platform or you're new to design altogether, it's helpful to know just how to get your data on the 3D collaborative spaces so other stakeholders can access your models. Let me cover a few ways to upload your data to the 3D Experience platform. Our first method uses either SOLIDWORKS Connected or SOLIDWORKS Desktop with the SOLIDWORKS Connector add-in installed. For this, you simply install the SOLIDWORKS Connector, turn it on, connect to the 3D Experience platform, and select your desired collaborative space. Whether the data is new or existing, a right-click save initiates the process that gets your data uploaded and secure so you can leverage all the 3D Experience platform has to offer. As we refresh our 3D space, you can see the files appear. Now, second way is a basic Windows drag and drop. We can do this for pretty much any other non-CAD file. You can also use the simple pull-down menu and browse to the folder with your selected files. And this list is pretty extensive. The third, and possibly the most powerful way depending on your needs, also involves a drag and drop. But this one uses a zip file full of parts and assemblies. You can make them yourself by zipping up the contents of a folder, or create them by using functions like Pack and Go directly from SolidWorks, SolidEdge, Inventor, or Katia. These can be dropped directly into any of our X apps and will result in the creation of a featureless physical product for each and every file. And if we toggle back over to our 3D space and refresh again, you'll see the files appear. Now contact us if you'd like to learn more about this or any other 3D Experience platform app. And please subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notifications when we upload new content. I'll catch you next time.